wave guide tees a wave guide tee is a three port device they are used to connect a branch or section of the wave guide in series or parallel with the main wave guide it is formed when three wave guides tube are connected in the form of the english alphabet t wave guide junctions are used in microwave technologies when power in a wave guide needs to be split or some extracted adjustable matching reactants can be introduced by means of a tuning screw at the center there are a number of different types of wave guide junction that can be used when selecting a wave guide junction balances between performance and cost need to be made and therefore an understanding of the different types of wave guide junction is useful the major types are e type t junction h type t junction and magic t wave guide junction e plane t an e plane t is a wave guide t in which the axis of its side arm is parallel to the e field of the main guide it is characterized by the fact that the output of this form of wave guide junction are 180 degree out of phase with each other if two input waves are fed into ports 1 and 2 of the collinear arm the output wave at port 3 will be opposite in phase and subtractive from consideration of symmetry and the phase relationship of the waves in each of the arms results are equal in magnitude but opposite in phase that is s31 is equal to s13 which is equal to minus s23 which is equal to minus s32 and s12 is equal to s21 the third port is called the difference arm all diagonal elements of the s matrix of a e plane t junction cannot be zero simultaneously since the t junction cannot be matched to all the three arms simultaneously considering matched port 3 the s matrix of e plane t can be derived as follows denoting the incident and outgoing signal variables at the ith port by ai and bi respectively the net input power to port 3 is given by square of a3 minus square of b3 which is equal to square of a3 multiply by 1 minus square of s33 and the output power is b1 square plus b2 square is equal to 2 into a3 square into s13 square since the junction is assumed lossless 
the input power must be equal to the output power that is 1 minus square of s33 is equal to 2 into square of s13 by a suitable matching element we can make s33 equal to 0 so that s13 is equal to 1 by root 2 from the symmetric characteristics as described in the previous slide s13 is equal to s31 is equal to 1 by root 2 and s23 is equal to s32 is equal to minus 1 by root 2. Based on power consideration, s11 equal to s22 equal to 1 by 2 and s12 equal to s21 is equal to 1 by 2 for s33 equal to 0. Therefore, S matrix for E plane T is given by S11 is equal to half, S12 is equal to half, S13 is equal to 1 by root 2, S21 is equal to half, S22 is equal to half, S23 is equal to minus 1 by root 2, S31 is equal to 1 by root 2. S32 is equal to minus 1 by root 2. And S33 is equal to 0. H plane T. An H plane T is a waveguide in which the axis of its side arm is perpendicular to the E field of the main guide. It is characterized by the fact that the two outputs from the top of the T section in the waveguide are in phase with each other. If two input waves are fed into ports 1 and 2 of the collinear arm, the output wave at port 3 will be in phase and additive. Because the magnetic field loops get divided into two arms 1 and 2 in a manner similar to currents between branches in parallel circuit, H plane junction is called a shunt junction. For a symmetrical and lossless junction, in absence of nonlinear elements at the H plane junction, the S parameters are as below. S11 is equal to half. S12 is equal to minus half. S13 equal to 1 by root 2. S21 is equal to minus half. S22 is equal to half. S23 is equal to 1 by root 2. S31 is equal to 1 by root 2. S32 is equal to 1 by root 2. And S33 is equal to 0. Because of mismatch at any two ports, the VSWR at the mismatch port of either E or H plane T junction is very high. Voltage standing wave ratio is equal to 1 plus reflection coefficient and 1 minus magnitude of the reflection coefficient is 3. Magic or hybrid T. A magic T is a four port waveguide T that is a combination of E plane and H plane waveguide T. If two waves of equal magnitude and same phase are fed into port 1 and port 2, the output at port 3 is subtractive 
and output will appear editively at port 4. The magic tea has the following characteristics. If wave is fed into port 3, it will produce an output of equal magnitude and opposite phase at port 1 and port 2. The output at port 4 is 0. Thus, S13 is equal to S31 which is equal to 1 by root 2 which is equal to S24 which is equal to S42 and S34 is equal to 0. If wave is fed into port 4, it will be divided equally between port 1 and port 2 in phase with no coupling to port 3. Thus, S14 equal to S41 which is equal to 1 by root 2 which is equal to S24 which is equal to S42 and S43 equal to 0. If wave is fed into one of the collinear arms at port 1 or port 2, it will not appear in the other collinear arm at port 2 or 1. Hence, two collinear ports 1 and 2 are isolated from each other. Therefore, S12 is equal to S21 is equal to 0. A magic T can be matched by putting tuning screws suitably in the E and H arms without destroying the symmetry of the junction. Therefore, for an ideal lossless magic T, match dead ports 3 and 4, match dead ports 3 and 4, S33 is equal to S44 is equal to 0. Therefore, S matrix for a magic T matched at ports 3 and 4 is given by S11, S12, S13 and S14. S12, S21 is equal to S12 and S22, S23 is equal to minus S13, S24 equal to S14, S31 is equal to S13, S32 is equal to minus S13, S34 equal to 0. Sorry, S33 equal to 0 and S34 equal to 0. S41 is equal to S14. S42 is equal to S14. S43 equal to 0 and S44 equal to 0. From the unitary property applied to rows 1 and 2 of the S matrix, we get S11 square plus S12 square plus S13 square plus S14 square is equal to 1. Equation 5. Similarly, S12 square plus S22 square plus S13 square plus S14 square is equal to 1. Equation number 6. Subtracting these two equations, we will get S12 
one one square minus s two two square is equal to zero. Or s one one equal to s two two equation seven. From the unitary property applied to rows three and four, two s one two square is equal to one, or s one three is equal to one by root two. Equation eight and two into s one four square is equal to one or s one four is equal to one by root two. Equation nine. Substitute equations. Eight and nine in equation five S one one square. Plus s one two square plus s one three is equal to one by root two. Therefore, and s one four is equal to one by root is equal to one or s one one square plus S one two square plus half plus half equal to one. Therefore, S one one square plus S one two square is equal to zero. Equation number ten. Which is valid if if s one one equal to s one two is equal to zero. From equations. Seven and eleven. I can say that S two two is equal to zero. Therefore, S matrix for magic T is equal to zero. Zero. S one three. S one four equal to S one three. S two one equal to zero. S two two is equal to zero. S two three equal to minus one three. S two four equal to S one three. S three one equal to S one three. S three two is equal to minus S one three. S three two equal to minus S one three. S three three equal to zero. S three four equal to zero. 
S41 equal to S13, S40 equal to S13, S43 equal to 0, S44 equal to 0. where S13 equal to 1 by root 2 is equal to S14. Therefore, final S matrix for magic T is given by by root 2 into 0 0 1 1 0 0 minus 1 1 1 minus 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 Applications of Magic T. The Magic T has a number of applications in various microwave circuits, such as the ES tuner for impedance matching, balanced mixer in a microwave, super heterodyne receiver, power combiner, and duplexer. In an ES tuner, both E and H arms are terminated by movable shorts, which act as E plane and H plane stubs. The position of the shorts can be adjusted so that a wide range of load impedance may be matched to reduce the voltage standing wave ratio of waveguide system connected through the collinear arms. In balanced microwave mixer configuration, an incoming signal is fed to the E arm and a local oscillator signal is fed to the H arm. These two signals when enter the collinear arms the crystal diodes placed in these arms produce the IF signal or difference signal. The local oscillator signal from H arm will arrive at the diodes in phase whereas the incoming signal from E arm will arrive at the diodes out of phase. These signals are mixed in the nonlinear diodes and produce IF signals in the collinear arms which are out of phase by 180 degree. Since local oscillator noise will be in phase at the diodes, th this gets cancelled at the balanced IF input whereas the IF signals are added up in phase for amplification in IF amplifier. The duplexer is a circuit which works as both the transmitter and the receiver using a single antenna for both the purposes. Port 1 and 2 are used as receiver and transmitter where they are isolated and hence will not interfere. An antenna is connected to E arm port. A matched load is connected to H arm port which provides no reflections. Now there exists transmission or reception without any problem.